In this video, I'm going to use C++ Builder XZ3's 64-bit compiler to build a 64-bit DLL that is a user-defined function for Interbase, and then we'll add that UDF DLL into Interbase and then see it in action. And there are several steps to building a DLL or Dilib for Interbase for a user-defined function. Uh, you'll create the project with file new C++ Builder dynamic link library. You can add targets for 64-bit Windows and Mac OS X. Uh, you need to add some header files and some libraries that are needed to your, for your project. You'll need to make sure that you have paths to some of the header files and examples that you might use. Uh, in this example, it's going to be a, a C function, so we're going to use the extern C. Even though we're compiling it with C++ compiler, you'll see that. And then we'll deploy the DLL into the UDF library for Interbase. Uh, down here, you'll see how to add the UDF inside of the Interbase database itself by executing this statement. And then finally, at the bottom, using the EDF, you just say select, in my case, lower to lowercase a column from a table. So we'll see all of that in action in this video. So let's uh, open up the project. Uh, it's been pre-built. Let's go and look at the source code. Again, it's a DLL. We have different target platforms, 32-bit, uh, 64-bit. And notice that when you choose OS X, then the project manager will change the the name to be dot dilib as an extension we're going to build a 64-bit version in this case here's the source code there's some libraries that it's going to use the interbase utility library an interbase header file since this is a c function we're going to use the extern c uh, statement uh, here's the definition of the function called fn underbar lower underbar c it takes a character string and it's going to return back a character string and all this code does is says if you've got any uppercase letters, it's going to lowercase them. And then it runs in a loop till the string is over. And then it uh, returns that string uh, back to the calling function. Again, there's a few other header files that we include, some supporting dilib files. We also need to use uh, the interbase standard for allocating memory. So there's an ibutil malloc call for allocating space for the string. That's because Interbase has it has its own memory management. We need to make sure from C++ Builder that we're using that memory manager instead of using the memory manager that's part of C++ Builder itself. So we can go and, and build this project. And it says linking, and the output's going to be a DLL. So we can go and look for the DLL. It's in my folder called Demos in Progress. Here's the folder for 64-bit. I did a release build. So here's my DLL. I copy the DLL and place it over where my inner base is installed. And it's installed in Embarcadero, Rad Studio, Tenno, uh, Interbase XE3. Here's a folder called UDF. I'm using the Interbase Developer Edition that is part of XE3. And so it installs it underneath Red Studio XE3, C Builder XE3. You might have your Interbase somewhere else. Just find the Interbase uh, UDF folder. Uh, inside of here, we paste the DLL. So there's my IB UDF, which is the DLL that I built for 64-bit. To have that appear for a database, here's my uh, databases. I've got an employee database. Doesn't have any external functions right now. But for the employee database in IB console, I use tools, interactive SQL. And let's go back to that, uh, that document. I'm going to copy this text, and I'm going to execute this. It says declare external function. The function name is lower. Uh, it takes a parameter of varchar256. It's going to return a string. The entry point is fn underbar lower underbar c, which is the entry point that we exported here in our source code. And the module name, which is the name of the DLL, is ibudf without the dot DLL. And we'll execute this. Now my external function is defined for the database, in this case, employee. And now that that function called lower, I can say select lower of last name, which is one of the columns in my employee table. So in my employee data table, that's part of this employee database, I've got some columns, first under bar name, last under bar name. So I can use that function I just defined and say select lower uh, last name from employee and execute it. And here's all the lowercase last names. Or we could say select lower of first name, comma, lower last name, lower of uh, country from employee. And now I have, again, the lowercase first name, lowercase last name, 
and lowercase country. So that's how easy it is to create a 64-bit DLL in C++ Builder XZ3. Uh, you could also, again, create a 32-bit DLL you'd, and a, an OS X Dilib using uh, Interbase and creating your own user-defined functions.